Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this is a video I did not want to make, but unfortunately I do have to make it and it is an update to my past review of this controller that I got on release. Uh, literally like the release date or the day after that I bought this controller. Zero complaints. I mean, it felt great. Um, I did complain a lot in that honest review, um, but I will say after playing with it, and I don't think I did a good job in that review explaining my, my full position on it, um, at least my final position, I do think that this controller is better than the first model um, in terms of premium feeling and the way the paddles feel, everything feels, it feels great. Tightness of the thumbsticks, I think it's a great controller. Um, aside from that though, as I'll say later on in the video probably, this is a premium controller with not premium durability and there's an issue with that. So let's just get right into it. There's some issues. Again, this is two months after after use. This is two months of use, basically. So what you have here, first off, buttons. Um, I can't really speak upon the buttons for myself because I don't press them, but a lot of people have been saying that a common issue with this controller is that the buttons do not actually register. Like you'll try to you know, press it and it does not perform the function. So I know that that's an issue. Again, I don't press the buttons. All, of the, all four of these are mapped to my four paddles. So I can't really speak upon that. But for me, the first issue that I had about three or four days ago was the RB started performing the function twice, the right bumper. It would perform the function twice every time I press it once. So not every time, but just randomly. So like, you know, I'd hit that. It would think I did that. And it, that's just obviously not playable by any means. I mean, in a Fortnite, for example, you're trying to go from shotgun to SMG. Next thing you know, you go from shotgun to med pack. You're healing in front of an opponent. It's just not a good situation. Now, luckily, I do have a warranty on this controller, so I will be getting that fixed, of course. And I was planning on getting it fixed, but now I am absolutely going to have it fixed because of this issue right here. So let me make sure that's good. Okay. Yeah, so you have... This is what the normal RT sounds like, right? It's a normal trigger. This is on the middle trigger stop. Sounds pretty good. This is my LT. As of last night, I'm playing, I'm doing my thing, I'm, I'm sweating on Fortnite, building and whatnot, um, and then all of a sudden, literally, this just happens. I mean, it goes from being like this to that. I, I don't understand it. I don't know where that came from. Um, I, I really have no clue. The only thing that I can think of is that there's something in here related to the trigger stops, right? So this is important to note uh, that I use on my LT. I use the lowest trigger stop. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. My RT, I only use the middle trigger stop. So maybe there's a difference between that. Um, I'm not too sure. But I know that it's tied to this because if I up this to, let's say, the, let's first off hear this. Pretty loud, right? That's the, that's the lowest one. If I go to the middle one, the middle setting here, it gets a little bit quieter. And then you can really tell on the last one, it gets a lot quieter. Now, it's still stiff, even on the last one. So... Obviously, this is super unplayable. Um, I'm actually going to be going later today to go and have this exchange or fix. I'm not too sure how it's going to work yet, um, but we will find out. But yeah, not too excited about that. Um, again, this is a premium controller. I think that it feels great. I just wish that they would, you know, learn their lesson. I would think that they had, they had done that, um, but they didn't, unfortunately. Two months in and you have two major problems, and I'm sure that my buttons probably don't even work. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to make that statement. But I'm sure that there would be an issue with that because that is apparently a super common issue with this controller. Um, so just something to note again, I wanted to update, update you guys on the controller itself because I know some people wait um, and see the durability re reviews and whatnot. Um, so here's mine. Um, hello. Uh, this, it's not good. Uh, it's not good at all. Uh, hopefully my next one doesn't do, do this bad. But you know what's funny about this is that I don't have the controller next to me, but my other controller, my old model... Um, which I bought like after, I don't know, two or three years it came out, after it came out, I bought that seri Series 1 controller and it lasted me a year and it still works fine. I just, it, it lasted me a year until I bought this one. So it's just funny how a used controller lasted a year and now this one, brand new Series 2 2019, um, the best premium controller has two issues that are just absolutely unplayable. I mean horrible I, I really don't know what to say but anyway guys if you do have this controller please leave it down below uh, any comments that you have about your experience i am curious to know if you guys have had any similar issues to mine um, i know some people have reached out and some of the comments on my videos and let me know thank you guys shout out to you guys you guys are awesome um, so just let me know down below uh, and that way people who watch this video can have a, you know this sort of thread and see what common issues are happening with this controller so with that said guys thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.